All right, for our last video here, we're going to make a control chart out of this data. So you can see we, we have our sample weights and we have our data in order. It's very important that your data must be in order uh, for a control chart to work. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna calculate our center line and our center line is the mean, which in Excel is average. Open parentheses, click there, control shift down, close parentheses, and that's our average. We need to make a line out of that. So I just use up arrow equals, or equals up arrow, there you go. So now, if we highlight these, control shift down again, insert, we would have what, what could be termed just a simple run chart. But we want to add all of our different zones. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna have to calculate our standard deviation. So there's two standard deviations in the current version of Excel. You have standard div S, standard div P. Um, those are the most common ones. We also have uh, these other two, which are not, um, not as commonly used in the old version. We have uh, standard div and standard div P. So standard div S is the old standard div, standard div dot P is the old standard div P. Um, and again, I, I don't ever use these um, because these involve logical values, but uh, we have the two most common standard deviations. Uh, for everything in this course, we're going to use standard deviation S, which is our sample standard deviation, and simply control shift down again, and there's our standard div. Um, so then we simply add it to our mean. So it's mean plus standard div, and then the next zone will be equals the mean minus standard div. Then the next zone equals mean minus two times standard div equals mean minus, excuse me, plus two times standard div. And then finally equals mean plus three times standard div and equals mean, mean minus three times standard div. And there we go. Again, we can simply use equals up arrow, drag those all the way over, grab our autofill handle, click down. And there you go. Now, a lot of times um, you, you will want to adjust this. I often take the center line, format the data series, and uh, rather than having a solid line, use some sort of dashes, usually makes it easier. Um, you can adjust the color coding anywhere you want. And then you're gonna go through this and you're going to look for violations of those rules. And, and I'll get the rules posted. Um, the, those mo may already be on Canvas for you, but I'll make sure that those are. Um, and uh, we're looking for those rules. Anything that would be outside of the ordinary. So nine points in a row above center line, any points outside of the three sigma limit. Um, again, three sigmas, this is your upper and lower control limit. Uh, so that's how to build these tools in Excel. Um, you may be asked to do this in a future exam.